And one of the things that I always come across is, should I file as myself and then bring in a partner? Or should we file as co-founders and have two people? Uh, uh, and, uh, um, you know, that, that's always an interesting question when, when you're talking about, um, uh, you know, uh, bringing in additional people at the formation stage. Uh, what's your take on, uh, should we have co-founders or should it, uh, you know, should we always start out as a solo uh, uh, company? Well, you know, uh, no, there's no, there's no, there's no right or wrong answer to that. You know, whether you should have a co-founder, there's no requirement. You know, if, okay. if from a legal perspective, if you want to form a company, if you want to incorporate, uh, you know, if you want to form a corporation or form an LLC, uh, there's no, no legal requirement that you should have a, have a co-founder. Right. I mean, you could, you could, I, I could come up with an idea and I, I incorporate the company. I'm a, I'm a, I'm the sole founder. You know, I'll be the sole director. I'll be the sole shareholder. I'll be the sole officer of the company. That's right. fine. You know, eventually I may find, I, I may find someone who's, you know, who's going to work with me, you know, who, who has a complementary skill set, helps with the company and he may join as a co-founder, but to, to start a company, you don't need a co-founder. Okay. Right. Got it. Yeah. So, go ahead. So no. I, so uh, um, you know, I, I I look at it from more of a risk return perspective. So filing documents is one thing, but when you're starting a company, if you have a co-founder, you're generally sort of sharing the risk as well as the return. Um, so what what's your perspective on that? Yeah. You see, my perspective, and this is not so much a legal question. This is like this is you know um, more of a business business question but but my perspective here is, is as follows that you know uh, can one person do everything uh, you know there are of course there there are you know there, there are geniuses who can do that uh, <laughs> but you know the thing is that you know you 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 may be a, you may have a, an idea which is which is technology based right and you can build the technology yourself. So you could, you, you know, you built the technology, but you may need someone who brings the business perspective to, right. to, the, to, to the team, right? So now the question is, when, then when should I start looking for someone? You know, should I start looking for someone right in the beginning? You know, it's, a, it, it's something that you, you it's something that, uh, uh, it's an individual question. I mean, you know, one could say that, yeah, you know, I have a great idea, but it will be good to have some business perspective so that as I'm working on my idea, as I'm developing my product, I'm getting some business inputs, you know, some commercial inputs. And, yeah. you know, if I get the right person, then why not? Right. Yeah. Or yeah. one could say that, you know what, hey, I know it's a, I, I, mine is a, I, I'm coming up with a medical device. Right. I know what it's going to do. I need to build it. You know, OK, then can you do everything by yourself? Or, or do you need other people, you know, who can bring in technical perspective to the a different technical perspective to the to the whole idea? Right. So it just, just uh, you know, it depends on on, depends. on how you think about it. From an investor's perspective, you know, th that's another thing that you have to think about. You know, uh, what do the investors like to see? My general feeling is that the investors like to see a team. Right. You know, they they want to see a team. They they they, uh, you know. They, uh, if nothing else, it just gives them, you know, it gives them the comfort that there are you know, more than just one person. That they yeah, absolutely. And, and yeah, uh, obviously, like you said, you know, one person can't do it all, right? Even in technology, it could be hardware, it could be software, exactly. it could be marketing, sales. Absolutely. You know, there, there are a lot of business uh, uh, moving pieces of the business yep. that you sort of have to keep in mind.